and welcome to today's video. This is still ESL level A1, unit 5, lesson 3. In this lesson we're going to be talking about um, describing places, but also linking parts of sentences using and and but. Alright, so you can answer some of these questions about your own neighborhood. So where do you go to eat? Do you have any favorite restaurants? So think about that question and answer it. Where do you buy your books? Do you actually go to a bookstore? Or do you buy books online? Is there a good place for burgers in your neighborhood? Do you visit a library in your neighborhood? And is there a nice park near your house? All right, so we're going to listen to um, the conversation and then we're going to uh, complete these sentences with the words where, near, here, or there. So let's listen first. He lives near the school. The train station isn't near any restaurants. The bus stop is over there. It takes about 10 minutes to walk there. Where do you live? There are some people here. All right, so um, first one, he lives near the school. The train station isn't near any restaurants. The bus stop is over there. It takes about 10 minutes to walk there. Where do you live? And I don't remember the last one, whether they said here or there. Let me take a peek. There are some people here. Okay, there are some people here. All right, so where, here, there, and near, we use these to talk about places. So is there a phone? post office near your house. Yes, there is. It's a two minute walk. So we use near when we can walk to the place. Where's the office? It's on Baker Road near the hospital. We use where in questions. Where's my book? It's here on the table. Here means at this place. And I need to go to a bank. No problem. You can walk there in about five minutes. So there or over there means um, away from the speaker, so uh, some distance away. All right, so now I want you to try to complete this conversation with where, here, there, or near. You can pause the video, fill in the blanks, then restart when you're ready to um, check the answers. Okay. So, hi, I need to buy some fruit. Is there a supermarket near us? Yes, you can walk there in two minutes. Walk down this street and turn left at Johnson Road. You can't miss it. It's a big supermarket. Perfect. Also, I need to go to a bank. No problem. There's a bank near the supermarket. It's also on Johnson Road. Okay, well, I'm hungry. Are there any restaurants on Johnson Road? We're at a cafe. Eat something here. All right, so now we're going to listen for Kim asking for help. Um, so you're going to be listening for where does Kim want to go? Excuse me, do you know where the bookstore is? Yes, it's right near here. Just make a right on 2nd Avenue. Then walk past the library and it will be on your left. Is it near the post office? Yes, it is right next to the post office. I was just there, but I didn't see it. It's hard to see it because the sign isn't very big. Look for a red door. Thank you. 
Okay, so where does Kim want to go? She wants to go to the bookstore. All right, now we're going to um, listen again and um, we'll choose the correct word in the conversation. Excuse me, do you know where the bookstore is? Yes, it's right near here. Just make a right on 2nd Avenue. Then, walk past the library, and it will be on your left. Is it near the post office? Yes, it is right next to the post office. I was just there, but I didn't see it. It's hard to see it because the sign isn't very big. Look for a red door. Thank you. All right, now we want to try to put this conversation in order. So we're going to start with A, and so the brown, everything in brown, is the woman asking the question, and the white is the person giving answers. All right, so if she says, excuse me, can you help me? That would be number one. So which of these would be the answer to excuse me, can you help me? And you can pause the video if you want to take a chance to read each of these and then restart when you're ready to see the answer. All right, so excuse me, can you help me? Then the next uh, response would be, of course, how can I help? And then which of these would become next after she says, of course, how can I help? Well, that would probably be letter E. Well, I'm looking for Cafe Le Bon. I think it's near here on this street. Okay, and then we're going to come back over to uh, this side. And what do you think would be next? So I think it's near here on this street. And it would be, no, it's not here. That cafe is on Market Street. Can you see the bookstore over there? And then she would reply, yes, I can see Miriam's books. So then next would be, okay, walk to Miriam's books, turn right onto Taylor Street, Cafe Le Bon is on Market Street at the corner of Taylor Street. And then she would say, thank you. Okay, I have one more question. Is there a bank near here? And yes, there's a bank next to Cafe Le Bon. All right, so now we'll practice that conversation. Uh, first time through, I'll read part A, you read part B, and then we'll switch. Excuse me, can you help me? Well, I'm looking for Cafe Le Bon. I think it's near here on this street. Yes, I can. Miriam's books. Thank you. Okay, I have one more question. Is there a bank near here? All right, this time we'll switch parts and you'll start with part A and uh, then I'll I'll read part B. So go ahead and start. Of course, how can I help? No, it's not here. That cafe is on Market Street. Can you see the bookstore over there? Okay. Walk to Miriam's Books, turn right onto Taylor Street. Cafe Le Bon is on Taylor Street.
Yes, there's a cat. There's a bank next to Cafe Laban. Right. So now, uh, if you want to pause the video and practice, maybe practice giving directions from your house to the bank, the supermarket, school, or a convenience store. Um, so you can either pause the video and write those down, practice aloud, um, but give yourself some practice describing how to get to places in your neighborhood. All right, and then answer these questions. Is there a supermarket near your home? Where do you go to buy fruit and vegetables? Are there any good restaurants near you? Where do you go for sushi? And do you live near a park? All right, next we're going to read about Marie's neighborhood. So you can either pause the video and read on your own, or you can follow along as I read. My apartment is in a new building. The apartment is big. The apartment has a nice view. The apartment has a balcony. There is a park in front of my house. The park is beautiful. There isn't a supermarket near me. There are three or four convenience stores near me. So now we're going to talk about linking sentences. You can use a comma and a connecting word to join sentences. So a comma and the word and or a comma and the word but. So if you're joining an extra idea, we use the comma with and. So instead of saying the apartment is big, the apartment has a nice view, we could say the apartment is big and it has a nice view. There is a big park. It has a lot of trees. You could join that and say there is a big park and it has a lot of trees. Now, if the ideas are different, you would use a comma and the word but. So in this example, instead of these two separate sentences, there isn't a supermarket near me, there are three convenience stores near me. You could say there isn't a supermarket near me, but there are three convenience stores. I don't live near my office. There's a bus stop in front of my office building. I don't live near my office, but there's a bus stop in front of my office building. All right, so now uh, you can pause the video and try to join these sentences with the, a comma and the word and or a comma and the word but. So pause the video, work on those, and then restart when you're ready to see the answers. Okay, so number one, I like chocolate, I don't like cookies. So to join that would be I, oops, I like chocolate, but I don't, don't like cookies. Number two, there is a park. There isn't a swimming pool. So there is a park, but there isn't a swimming pool. Number three, there are a lot of convenience stores near me. There isn't a good supermarket. So that would be, there are a lot of convenience stores near me, but there isn't a good supermarket. My balcony is large. It has a view of the park. So that would be my balcony is large and oops, 
forgot my comma, and it has a view of the park. For five, I live near my office. I can walk to work. So I live near my office and I can walk to work. And finally, number six, my apartment isn't big, but it is in a nice neighborhood. All right. All right, so now um, you can practice doing this on your own. Write 10 sentences uh, about some of these places in your neighborhood. Uh, so you can do that for practice by writing on your own. And then after you finish writing, you want to check your writing uh, using this checklist. Uh, did you join sentences using a comma with and or but? Do you have sentences using there is and there are? And is your spelling correct? Uh, if you'd like to share uh, your work online, uh, please put it in the comments and um, we can provide some feedback for you. Uh, but otherwise, that's the end of today's video. Uh, please like or subscribe and share with a friend. So I hope to see you next time. Have a good day.